Welcome to Rust, Germany. Rust is located at the border of France, Switzerland, and Germany. It's also the home of Europa Park. Opened in 1975, the park features 13 roller coasters, 72 attractions. But this week, the biggest attraction is Cloudfest 2019, with some 7,000 attendees and hundreds of speakers and exhibitors. I'm Brian Westbrook. You're watching Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. Let's get some monorail to get there. To kick things off, Intel's Jeff Wittick delivered an amazing keynote on stage here at CloudFest. And the key to all of this is that this allows them to deliver the maximum possible performance per TCO dollar at the rack level for the specific workloads that they or their end users actually care about. So all of this helps you maximize your investment in the infrastructure. So these are some of the key considerations that we've taken into account as we've built our strategy at Intel as your technology partner for the future. We're hearing a lot about Deep Learning Boost and VNNI. Talk to us about these two technologies and how they relate and, and where they fit into the puzzle. VNNI or DL Boost is available in the latest Intel Xeon scalable processors in the Cascade Lake family. And what it does is it takes a number of existing instructions, it combines them into a single instruction so that you can actually process things faster. And we see up to an 11x performance improvement in inference with DL Boost when you compare it with the performance of Skylake when it was out of the box and launched back in the summer of 2017. So this is bringing massive, massive performance benefits. Anytime you talk 11x, you know, this isn't small change. You took some time on stage during today's keynote with Jeff Wittick. What did you say to the crowd and, and why was that uh, an important message? I just gave some insights about the uh, hosting platform, which is the most significant platform we have. We're talking about millions of users, we're talking thousands of systems. Um, and I really want to point out that for the, for the troops, for the folks out there, what really is crucial and why this partnership, and especially the combination of the stack we have, the software we're using, together with the underlying hardware platform. So the outcome of this partnership, why is it so uh, successful at the end of the day? And then even give them some KPIs and benchmarks saying, hey, you can look on the public internet with standard web host checkers, ping them, however these tools are called, that this platform in combination of software and hardware is really faster than everything else we have on the planet. The theme park itself may be closed, but the connection between technology providers and partners continues. Talk to us about some of the themes of this year's event, what you hope attendees get out of it that they can actually tell their CEOs about when they get back home. Our tech line for this year, work hard, play hard. So what we want to make sure is like that there's a lot of possibilities during the day to learn or to make business, but then also have a lot of social events because there's nothing nearby, so we keep the whole crowd together at night and that's usually where the real business is done then, um, plus where the fun is happening. At the hackathon, within two days, they were able to develop a product that through deep learning and artificial intelligence was able to figure out how many of these people were happy and how many of them were not. We had four cameras in the room. They were all recording. Um, and only uh, cutting out faces sent them to the cloud with deep learning algorithms. And in the cloud, then they did, did uh, additional uh, deep learning analytics to find out the expression of the faces. And they could really uh, calculate over a specific time all the emotions of uh, the people and then track different faces and say, okay, at that, from, from 2 to 3 p.m., for instance, in this area, we found so and so many people who were happy and so and so many people who are not happy. And then you get the result and the information about that. But this has, of course, also a real uh, application. For instance, if you do a marketing campaign in a supermarket, right, you, you show something new, then you can use those cameras and really count and see how well this was received. All the customers we work with clearly have a desire to say, we need to differentiate from the large hyperscalers. We need to find something that is unique for us. We see more differentiation, more uh, specialization in areas that are relevant to specific German requirements in this marketplace. How is Intel poised to help make that happen? I believe we have an amazing and very compelling roadmap. Uh, we have an amazing sales force. We have a partner ecosystem that brings richness to our offerings so that ultimately the solutions that customers are building, as I said, the area of artificial intelligence is a very hot topic also this week here in Rust. Um, we believe that we are happy we have the right setup uh, to make those customers very successful on Intel. 
what is really the nuts and bolts behind this, making this work? Sure. This one will support the, the latest and the next generation CPU from Intel um, and, and also Apache Pass, right? Octane technology that's uh, going to be available right now. And we also validated that. And we have a lot of customers validating the system based on Apache Pass because they want to see what kind of workload really can benefit from it. We have some customers already identified some of the workload they have, and some of them still trying right now. But we're, we're really optimistic about how they how this, this technology is going to change the, the entire industry. Intel has providing us some great guidelines about how do we actually optimize this in terms so many different angles, right? So in terms of the cooling, in terms of the power, in terms of the how the power efficiency transitioning and things like that. And one of the things we have decided with Intel is actually contribute this to OCP, Open Compute Product. Project. So it's an open hardware community. So what we decided to do with Intel is actually, hey, take the idea that we have with them and then throw it inside the public community and see if there's anyone come up with something better and we can optimize, continue to work on that. So that's the goal, like open hardware, it's gonna be the future of the, the business, I believe. You've been watching Shift presented by Intel and GeekWire. I'm your host, Brian Westbrook. Thanks for joining us here at Europa Park in Rust, Germany for CloudFest. Now, you can subscribe on YouTube comment and like our videos. Don't forget you can check them all out at geekwire.com slash shift. But until next time, auf Wiedersehen!